Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Um, today we're going to work on something that, for some reason, everybody wants to know about. So let's let's do it. We're going to do mashed potatoes, or smashed potatoes, or whipped potatoes, whatever you want to call them. But we're going to do some nice mashed potatoes. Um, we'll do it a couple different ways, or you need, we'll mix it up a little bit and see where we're at. Um, I've just got some potatoes here. I use the Yukon Golds for me. I like those best for the mashed potatoes. I've just got them peeled up. Can you leave the skins on? Sure, why not? Do it any way you like. But I'm just, just for showing you, I've, I've got them already peeled up. So we've got some potatoes here, and we're just going to get them ready. I'm just going to like rough chop them a little bit, give them a little dice, and then pop them in the water. So we'll get these going. And I've got a pot of salted water here. Actually, I've got a pot of water that we're going to salt. And we're just going to make up a little batch of mashed potatoes. All right. Turn our water on. Just start with some cold water. Slide this over a little bit. And then I salt the water a little bit when I go to cook it, like you would with pasta or any other thing. And then just pop them in there, and we're going to cook these till they're till they're done. It's going to take about about 20 minutes boiling, 15, 20 minutes, and we'll let that go. So, and while that's going and coming up to a boil, what I've got here that we're going to mix with it, I've got a little heavy cream, I've got some sour cream. A little butter, um, salt and pepper. Got some roast garlic. I like roast garlic in my mashed potatoes, is what it is. We did those roast garlic on one of the other videos. You want to check that out? That's good. Um, also got some truffle oil. Truffle oil is great in potatoes and eggs. So got some truffle oil we can put in there, see how we're feeling a little later, and we'll roll with it. Um, well, it's got a little chives that we can mix in or use for garnish, and that's about that. So. We'll let these come up to a boil and boil, and then uh, see where we're at. All right, these are boiling nice. Take a look here, and I think they're just about done. We're going to check them. The easiest way to check them, I think, is just put a, little, put a little knife or a fork in them, and if they're done, you'll know it. So we're going to take that and just drain that out real quick. So I'm going to dump that and drain it, and we'll be right back. All right, these are boiling nice. Take a look here, and I think they're just about done. We're going to check them. The easiest way to check them, I think, is just put a, little, put a little knife or a fork in them, and if they're done, you'll know it. So we're going to take that and just drain that out real quick. So I'm going to dump that and drain it, and we'll be right back. All right, now we're back with these. We'll go ahead and get this out of the way. got the potatoes, and I'm going to let them just dry here for a second. That's good. Some people put them back in the oven or not, but if you let them drain real good and sort of dry out, you won't have as much moisture in your potatoes, and that's really what we're looking for, because then you can put more butter and cream and sour cream in there without having to be mushy. So let these dry up a little bit, and um, basically, we're just going to push these right through. I've got a little, uh, I don't know what these are called, little pastry scrapers, little thing, and I'm just going to push it right through. Kind of chop it up a little bit. Can you do it in the mixer? Absolutely. I find doing it in the mixer is good, but the only thing about doing it in the mixer is you're going to have, uh, sometimes the tendency, they'll get over whipped, and that's when they start to get a little sticky and, and whatnot. So we're just going to push this through, and then I get it down to where it's almost, almost all the way and then break the scraper back out, and then you can get all the rest of it through. There we go. Set that aside. And then now we start adding in our goodies. 
And I like the taste of a little sour cream in there, so we'll do a little spoonful of sour cream. Maybe a couple little pats of butter. And then you want to put in a little half and half or a little heavy cream. Helps smooth it all out. And then we're going to mix in, we're going to mix in a little roast garlic in there. I like the flavor of the roast garlic. Can you use the oil? Absolutely, it's wonderful. Now the roast garlic is going to be a lot milder than your regular garlic, but just mash it through. And again, I just hit it with the fork a little bit. And add it right in. A little salt and pepper. And then mix it all up. And again, we're just going to mix it enough to get it all nice and combined and melt everything through. But you want nice, by pushing them through that strainer, you're going to wind up with the nice, light, fluffy potatoes. They're, not, they're never going to get all gluey and starchy. And I think the yellow potatoes help with that as well, you know, using the Yukon Golds or those. Okay, we've got it like that. And I'm just going to add, you know, on those special times, go ahead and add a little truffle oil. Why not? You've got it laying around and you don't know what to do with it. A couple little drops of that in there. Maybe a little sprinkle of chives. Let's see what we've got here. Mmm. That's the ticket right there. I think the, that's going to be just what we want. Go ahead and serve these up. And this is, this is the way we do these mashed potatoes here. You want some truffled roast garlic mashed potatoes for your next dinner? This is the ticket. Take some of those chai blossoms, throw them in there. It's from White Apron. Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Um, we've got some roast garlic mashed potatoes. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.